guys hello welcome to my new Genshin impact video guys in this video I'm going to talk about the new upcoming characters which is uh, probably coming in four days yes coming in four days live in Genshin impact you all probably know everything about or many things about Bezu so we're gonna talk about everything related to Bezu and then we're gonna talk about uh, where is Bezu fit like if you needed Bezu's or not Bezu's fit is fit gonna fit in your team or not your accounts gonna need a Bezu or not so Bezu is gonna be worth pulling or not in short we're gonna talk about Bezu's gonna be worth pulling or not so stay tuned till the end guys Alright guys so let's quickly and in briefly just talk about the Bezu what is Bezu Bezu who is Bezu what Bezu does which element the weapon everything in short like Bezu is a dead five shot dendro character and catalyst user Bezu uses catalyst as a weapon same as Nahida Nahida is totally totally based on elemental mastery and in dendro element we all know dendro ha having a very high priorities to elemental mastery the higher you have the elemental mastery on dendro characters or dendro related reactions the higher you're gonna deal the damage but that's not gonna case with uh, Bezu and that's not gonna happen with Bezu. Bezu is totally based on HP percentage and Bezu also not a DPS character means Bezu is not a dendro damage de dealer like Nahida. Nahida provides a support to a good um, amazing support dendro support and also can work as a DPS and a sub DPS dendro character but Bezu is a totally totally support character Bezu deals dendro damage but not in a very big number that you can use Bezu as a sub DPS or a DPS character so what Bezu does Bezu just buff your all dendro element dendro related element reactions Th second Bezu is a healer dendro healer and third thing is Bezu is a dendro shielder yes Bezu is both a dendro healer and a dendro shielder Everything is based on HP percentage. The higher you having HP on Bezu, the higher your Bezu is gonna perform. So now let's just talk about uh, why you need a Bezu. See, whenever you are going to make a Dendro reaction team, the three big elements reaction came into your mind. First is Bloom, second is Hyper Bloom, and third is Burgeon. These three reaction are the top reaction of dendro element i'm not gonna talk about the workings of the reactions we already know how these reaction will work this is the you know no, ideal team or this is the May most basic you. team that everyone uses with a, a dendro character when they gonna use the element hyper bloom reaction use the element reaction hyper bloom or gonna trigger the hyper reaction hyper bloom this is the perfect team and this is the in my opinion the most used team what's the uh, raiden here raiden can trigger your hyper hyper bloom and cookies also here trigger can trigger the hyper bloom shinku gonna be an important part of being a sub dps of hydro element and nahida playing an important role here as nahida providing the dendro element and the extra aid up to uh, up to uh, around around 250 elemental mastery in my opinion if you're gonna use any uh, dendro related elemental reaction you are probably gonna need a two dendro characters in the team like the case with the el -Hadam. if you're gonna use the el -Hadam, everyone suggested you to use one more dendro one more dendro element character in your team if you're using el -Hadam as the main dps yes of course el -Hadam is a main dps so that's the case going to happen with every dendro reaction because when you add another this dendro character here you can actually mysteries. gain the dendro resonance and dendro resonance can give you up to 100 elemental mastery and getting the 100 elemental mastery is good so good but now the case is you don't have any shielder you don't have any healer here so what's going you gonna do because you are gonna have to have a very high skill in the game then only you're not, you're not going to take any any damages here in my opinion according to nowadays we are getting the uh, more difficult enemies in the sparrow abyss a sparrow is getting difficult difficult by month 
by every month after every month so in that opinion every team should have a one healer or a shielder not a dedicated healer or a dedicated healer shielder that that characters only do healing or shield uh, shielding uh, not providing any other benefits to the team so in my opinion if you get the bezu here bezu providing you a good healing and a good shield not amazing healing or amazing shield uh, bezu's healing and shield both gonna be very 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 average guys shield not gonna be that good and also the healing is not gonna be that good we all know bezu is a five star character after that uh, I mean, being a 5 star character, even being a 5 star character, Bezu is not gonna be that strong healer or a shielder. But what's the best scenario that Bezu providing you so many things? Bezu providing you a dendro element, and Bezu also can apply dendro element to the enemies. That's a one plus point. Second thing, he's gonna heal your character as well as your whole party. Yes, not gonna heal your active character. It's generally gonna heal all the party party members, all the party members, like full party. Third thing, he's gonna provide you a good amount of shield, not the amazing shield if you compare to Zhongli shield. No, but shield is there. Shield is there, and shield is some way gonna protect you. And if you take the damage, no worries. Bezu, Bezu will heal you. The fourth thing, the Bezu is providing you a buff to your all elemental reaction related to dendro element so in my opinion if you add uh, one character consider my trav consider my traveler a bezu here for now and now look at this team this team is gonna be very very strong you got the shinkyo here a high uh, a hydro element character you can replace the shinkyu with galen also time? but then everyone's gonna say oh this is a very expensive team having a all five share character is not that easy guys if you can take bezu and you have no problem taking the bezu just get the bezu because if you get the bezu your team gonna be gonna get very very strong because having the two dendro characters it's uh it's gonna be very very good many many uh many players compare bezu with nahida i don't see why i, I don't know why see nahida kid is unique very unique and bezu's kid also very unique both characters having uh, their own own kit and their both characters kits are very 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 unique nahida's working is different and bezu's working is different bezu is kinda dendro element buffer and a shielder and a healer uh, on the other hand nahida is a great great dendro applicator and a uh, elemental mastery giver like uh, nahida gives uh, around around two or uh, in total of 250 elemental mastery the on field character plus nahida gives a plenty amount plenty good amount of dendro damage so you can use nahida as a dps and a sub dps also but on the other hand bezu is a purely support character which uh, heals your character shield your character and buffs your reactions related to element dendro element the, da the difference that Bezu is going to make, I don't know how much big dif bigger difference that Bezu is going to make in C0. But guys, if you are into the Dendro uh, reactions and you're using the Dendro reactions team like Nilo team, the LHM team, the Sino team, the Raiden Shogun, Hyper Bloom team, you can go for Bezu. Like I'm having Sino and I'm very excited. I'm very, very Ready much excited for honest. Bezu. Like I want Bezu because then only my team's going to be very, very strong. Current, uh, currently we having an Abyss and that Abyss is literally very, very hard if you compare to the previous uh, uh, spiral abyss my major problem in that abyss is my cookies keep on dying i don't know why my cookies keep on dying the main reason i guess my cookies keep on dying because cookies always stays on low hp you have to be very you know skilled or you have to be very focused on the rotation and you have to heal your cookie at least to the 50 percent hp but i tried that also even though on 50% HP or a 60% HP, Cookie died many times. I don't know why, but Cookie's dying on the field in current Sparrow Lab is, is uh, you know, 
painful to watch but i managed to get the 36 stars uh, no problem but the major problem is is cookies keep on dying and I don't like a character that sacrifices her own HP to heal the other characters. Why? Why is that happening? So when I add Bezu's hair, definitely my Sino she is gonna be very very strong because I don't need another electro character. No, my Sino can trigger Hyper Bloom. My Sino is a very good character triggering the Hyper Bloom. Or if you don't use a Hydro character here my Sino having a aggravated results very high so i don't see a reason to add an electro character here i'm having a pretty much decent amount of energy recharge so my regeneration rate on the zero is also good so in that case if i use another dendro character here which is also a healer and a five star character that's gonna be a very very good also this is gonna he uh, gonna buff the elemental reaction damage. That's also pretty much good. So guys, if you're using anything related to Bloom version or a Hyper Bloom team, you just you can get the uh, Bezu. Bezu is gonna be very very useful. The next thing is guys, if you're not into the you know uh, Dendro teams and all. Uh, just avoid Bezu because there's no point of taking Bezu if you don't have a good uh, Hyper Bloom or a Bloom team right now in your account in the game. If you don't own Sino especially, if you don't have Sino or Nahida basically, so I don't see a point of you wishing on the character Bezu. Don't consider Bezu a good Dendro applicator. De Bezu is not gonna be a good dendro applicator if you want a good dendro applicator there's currently in the game then Nahida is available here pull on this character this character is freakingly good when comes to dealing with all kinds of dendro reactions apl applying the dendro element to the enemy dealing the dendro damage massive amount of dendro damage and providing the extra 250 elemental mastery to all characters oh no sorry on the active field character pull this character if you want a good dendro applicator this is the best character in the game but if you want a shielder healer and a dendro element reaction buffer you can go for the bezu guys i don't see a problem here why is everyone saying that bezu is not gonna be that that good the same question is ha uh, uh you know i don't see how I, I don't see why people are saying that bezu is not gonna be very good if bezu she is gonna be average i don't have any problem if bezu healing is gonna be average i don't see a problem because bezu is providing both these things if shield and healing both works average so that combines makes bezu's very so strong character see let's just take an example um as quickly switch to a, a shield character like diona let's go see diona shield is super super good it's very strong it's a very powerful shield i have my i have my diona build and i used diona diona in spiral abyss many times no problem the thing is the shield is strong but not that strong to hold a big damage even in this parallel abyss or if you go kill uh, go kill any world boss but no problem diona can heal your characters you just deploy the diona's ult and diona's can heal your character simple no issue I, I so i think you. that's the same case gonna be happening with bezos guys if your shield broke no problem bezos immediately gonna heal you immediately see when bezos regenerate a new shield every two seconds bezos heal your active character if bezos shield if gonna break to bezos next, gonna heal your active character when the new shield will generate bezos gonna heal your character so i don't see any problem here why is everyone saying that character is not gonna be that good in my opinion for right now guys if you have still have any question just wait 
around 10 days figure out the bezos see all the streamers and the videos on the youtube that house bezos performing in the game live in the game and then make your decision but if you uh, ask me i would say just wish for the bezu if you are looking for a good dendro character and a support dendro character that all that's a healer shielder and a buffer also so that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoy the video and uh, if, if you think i said something wrong in this video you can correct me in the comment no problem it's just my opinion that what i think about the upcoming character and guys if you have any other uh, questions you can ask me in the comment like the video if you don't like the video you can also dislike the video no problem subscribe to my channel for more gc related video guys we'll meet in the future till then bye bye take care